And hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Sharing Your Journeys. So today we have a new friend here. So hello, William. How are you doing? Also known as Man of Music, actually, let me just say. And I, I really like his page. I've got to say, like, I was actually looking at your page the other day and I'm like, this guy is pretty an interesting guy, you know. But um, but thank you so much for coming on. Um, I really I'm actually really appreciated that you're here. And I just wanted to um basically just give the floor to you and just be like just ask how how did your whole hosiery her journey begin um i'm just gonna start with this i don't i didn't really start it in the way most mm -hmm. people do okay um, i hear a lot of people from my experience as i watch a lot of sharing your journeys um videos people having the interest since they were born um, yeah a lot of the time i wasn't like that um i basically got interested when i started seeing other guys online wearing tights under shorts and being open and honest about it i wouldn't say like loud and proud about it because if that mm. were the, well depends just i see i've seen it going on for a uh, for the past five years now yeah and generally speaking um and generally speaking i have been interested in that since i first started seeing it happen mm -hmm. and the first time i was able to experience it um or at least get the first pair for myself um was when i was 18 i believe okay it yeah it's like i like i was like what are people gonna think as i walk straight through yeah. um uh, straight through a uh walmart store my local walmart uh got them there uh mm. it felt fine and then i experienced other uh brands of tights to where i'm just like cheap to fly pardon me yeah sorry about that that's all right um and generally speaking um i haven't looked back since uh i will say that's though amazing. that the time the timeline between then and now is the fact that i it, it used to be an obsession for years on end and nowadays it's more just like eh, sometimes i don't even want to wear them mm. like i think i think sometimes i'm just like eh. it's it's kind of like candy at this point at least how i am with it right now yeah so, um the more i wear it the more i'm just like eh. <laughs> oh wow okay and it's not like i'm like that all the time Mm. I'll just be like in a. I have to be in a mood for it. And yeah, I'm not always in the mood for it. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I hear that. So it's it's interesting. You know what? Yeah, you're 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 right in saying like um, your story is very different from others that obviously that we've had on sharing your journeys, and it's it's really interesting because I've never come across that before. Like the amount of conversations I've had with lots of different people, I've never heard a story like yours before. So I'm, one, I'm very glad you're here right now, <laughs> literally talking about it, honestly, because it's such a different, as a different type of experience. journey. Exp yes, yes. In comparison to a lot of people where they have started off, you know it, at a young age and they've kind of grown into it like that whereas yours kind of came from looking at others wearing it and going from there so it's just yeah it's really it's really interesting oh yeah I'm really excited about this you know <laughs> um I will say this I feel like I've I kind of held off at parts um so if you have any questions from here I think that might help get the best out of me. No, that that's fine. That's completely fine. So I was going to um, 
ask so because obviously a lot of I know a lot of people tend to be I hate the word closeted but I can't think of another word at the moment um so would you so would you say that you're I'm going to put closeted like this because I really don't like that word at least it's different from saying being in the closet yeah 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 it is it is in that sense um so would it so could you class yourself as being closeted a closeted hosiery wearer or do you actually wear it out and about because I know obviously everybody has different experiences some are quite proud and some but like, I'm not quite there yet in terms of because of their confidence or whatever other factor so I'm I'm not as closeted as I used to be. Okay. But I am, st but I'm still very like, here's why it used to be very, 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 very closeted for me. Um, my, I come from a Christian household. So mm -hmm. from that, you don't really get from that, I don't really get any support from my parents or my, yeah, my siblings don't really give a crap because they're mm. just like your life, not mine. Um, so it's not like they, they just don't care. At one yeah. point, when my parents first, at one point when my parents first um, discovered that I've been purchasing them. Mm. Uh, my father, um, my father didn't, he felt like, and I've tuss tussled with this in my own mind as well, because yeah. I know he has a good point with this as a Christian myself. He thought mm -hmm. I was sinning. Um, and okay. He basically said, if I catch you wearing them, uh, you're out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. And one thing that, and one thing I can safely say is that that's no longer true. Um, so he stopped caring at one point, not out of not wanting to love me anymore, but just because I fought for, um, I fought for independence while mm. still living with them so much yeah. that he's like okay that's fine i'll i'll only get on you about stuff that matters the most and yeah. that it's more just like um we've come to something of an agreement that works both for that works for both of us yeah um and back to my point though if i could remember what it was um i wear it at other places um such as college, um, okay. but I don't, I don't do it all the time. Mm. Whenever I go there, sometimes I feel more out of place than when I don't wear them because it's just so different. I get, it yeah. used to be that I would start out heart skipping a massive beat every time I went out somewhere that no mm. longer happens. So I've worked for that but yeah simultaneously i get insecure every now and then whenever mm. i whenever i decide to wear them publicly um, yeah and that's just one example i can't i woke up about uh less than an hour ago so it's hard for me to think about um any other places i've worn them but that's just that's yeah what i have to share so far Wow. So I, okay. So first, can I just say, I'm very proud of what you did in terms of with your, with your dad, that is a very, very big thing. Um, and I, and I, I know that it, it wouldn't have been easy to do in a sense, but it's, yeah, I, I just want to say, I'm really, really proud of that because that is, that is a, a big thing. And I can kind of understand where you're coming from in the sense of, you know, being brought up Christian and you, you've got these obviously beliefs and everything as well. So I can understand that. But um, I wanted to ask, because it, it's literally popped up in my head as well now. So in terms, so 
obviously try not to sort of delve too much and obviously just please feel comfortable with speaking about whatever um whatever you're comfortable with there's so you know in terms one, of there's only Go one on. thing i've been uncomfortable uh sharing and i don't think you're gonna ask about it don't worry okay okay um okay that's fine i'm, I'm hoping it's not something i'm gonna ask now um so i just wanted to ask what kind of got you so obviously i understand seeing hosiery wear has kind of got you into it but was there a feeling or an emotion or an emotion or something that was attached to that because because for instance a lot of the sharing your journeys it wasn't about wearing the hosiery it's for a lot of people it, it was the whole thing of feeling safe feeling comfortable feeling they could be their true self in that because obviously they've worn it at such a young age that's what they kind of associate it with I just wanted to know like in terms of wearing hosiery like what it's like for you like what do you what do you kind of get out of of that I, whether um, it is it's just a fashion thing or if it could be something a bit more than that um in the beginning it used to be uh I, there was an emotional attachment but okay. it's it's no longer in existence it's more just like an article of clothing that i like to wear now and again mm. for the sake of doing so it has become yeah. that superficial for me at this point okay okay no that's cool. i just wanted to ask because i just thought it was just really interesting um and especially because i've had a conversation recently actually with somebody who um who is straight is married has kids and everything but he's it's kind of similar to you it's like he's seen so many male hosiery wearers and especially because I kind of promote it on my brand as well he was like I just wanted to give it a go and see what it was like and so the, it, and that's what I mean I think it's just with with different people it can be different things but it could just be I just fancy trying it there's nothing to it I just want to see what the hype was about and some people are like I've just been dying to I just didn't know how do you know what I mean so that's why I thought oh let me just let me just ask but didn't yeah, you make it's me just nervous though. Sorry, say that again. Didn't you mean to make Olivia Hama? Didn't mean to make you nervous though. In what when sense? I, when I oh, when I said there's only one thing I'd be uncomfortable. At oh yeah. No, do you know what? Because it sends me thinking like, oh my god, please, don't, please just say it's not something that I was going to ask. And you think, oh my god, I'm going to make you uncomfortable. That's why. So I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it, it doesn't take. It might make me uncomfortable if you wind up asking it, but I will yeah. wind up saying every time I do not feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will not answer that. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. So, okay, so, oh, yeah, right. So here's a good one, actually, because I like asking a lot of men this at the moment. So, do you know when you do wear hose when you're having a good relationship with it, how do you normally style yours? Is it something that... um that you wear underneath clothing or would it be something that for instance if you are exposing would you wear with shorts or like how how do you end up styling your hosiery i more often wear them with shorts than i do under jeans mm. or whatever nice. um do you have a favorite color and this is more just like my own curiosity since mm. I have my... um no yeah you can ask away um oh do you know what oh, it sounds so boring mine is just black I think it's because on my on my like hosiery journey when I started, I would wear a lot of black before I went to nudes and colors. Um, but yeah, I'd have to say black is probably like my the forefront of everything. I have to admit. Gotcha. Mine is white, but I really. Say, but I will say this: I'm wearing light gray, so. Honestly, you couldn't tell the difference unless you put them both together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, interesting, you went for white. Okay. Okay, so here's a question for you. Do you prefer shears or opaques or a bit of both? Opaques all the way. Really? If I wear shears, you're going to see leg hair. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Get you, get you, get you. That's not a bad thing, though. I mean, I'm kind of like, I was literally having this conversation with someone earlier. And I'm like, I'm team leg hair, like, do your thing. Like, at the end of the day, it should only matter to you how you how comfortable you feel. But I get that, though. I do respect that. There is a lot of men who tend to wear opaques because of that. 
Oh, wow. Other questions. No, do you know what? I, I have like so many and literally it's like, they're just, they're like this in my head, but I keep going off tangent asking you different things. <laughs> That's why. Um. So, okay. So okay, yeah, right. So hold on, I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. So you started wearing it quite later on in life, which is, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, at the end of the day, whenever you decide to wear it, it's always just, it, it's a personal thing, isn't it? At the end of the day. Okay, so here's, right. So here's a question. Um, so, you know, when you have, you have a bit of a love-hate relationship with it in terms of there's some days where you're like, you're happy wearing it. There's some times where it is just, no, I'm not doing this. What kind of, kind of why, I think is the question as to how come you feel like that? How come there are days like that where it is you you just don't feel like wearing it or you're just like I've had enough of it at the moment I don't want to touch them for like a couple of days or a couple of weeks however long and um, before you get back into them again it's a combination of what I've said earlier mm. it can be like handy for me okay um it can also be just me being so wildly insecure about my looks um okay um without letting other people show it without letting other people know mm -hmm. um i don't know if you're into astrology but i do know that my sign is a cancer and us oh, cancerians okay. are extremely emotional um and insecure like mm. i think it's the most insecure uh that and Aries are the most insecure signs. And I yeah. feel that I can resonate with the common traits of a cancer man. Mm. And that insecurity is just like, they're insecure if they're, if they don't have like the body that they envision for themselves immediately. They're insecure mm. if the clothes they wear are, they're insecure if the clothes they wear are simply and yet barely um showing them showing them be put together like mm. if they don't if i don't look like um someone if i don't look like someone who belongs at a at an adult gala if i don't look that nice all the time i'm gonna feel insecure and it's not like i have to look like that all the time i just I'm a thin guy. I don't really get, I'm very insecure about stuff like that because it's hard yeah. to find stuff that doesn't make me look all that, um, uh, let's just say disproportionate. Mm, okay. And then there's also just the fact that for tights specifically, it's not yeah. something you see many people doing all the time. And I feel like I would be less insecure if I could spend the day with other pe with people I have met uh, on Instagram who wear tights as well. If I spent the day, I wouldn't feel as alone. I would have them to talk to yeah. all the time. I wouldn't have to deal with um, doing it, uh, marching on all the time on my own. Yeah, I I I hear that. I get that completely. Wow. So is so where so obviously I'm just trying to just sort of figure out without kind of asking too much here, but wherever you are, is there actually anyone who is in a sense like for people, for instance, for people that you've met on Instagram, is there anyone sort of near you or kind of local to you yeah. to do that? Not at all. Okay. No, fair enough. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, then I can understand the struggle. I understand that because it's like, for instance, I speak to a lot of people in America and um, depending on sort of where they are, whether it's like kind of like a really small town or quite large cities and state uh, and states, and I'm probably saying it all wrong, um, but it is, yeah, depending on where they are, it, it can really sort of change things. I've, I remember speaking to someone who is from such a small town, they're kind of, everybody knows everybody, and anybody who's coming in, it, do you know what I mean? It's quite sort of invasive. And it is just, they're obviously a, a closeted hosiery wearer. So it's like, it's so hard for them to even try and step out and 
be who they want to be in that without sort of getting judgment because they've known them for so long as this person and because they're actually not being their true selves it is just yeah it's a lot more difficult and because of that it's they've had to limit so much down and yeah so it is that's what I thought let me just ask and see but it is it is nice to know I have to admit I think the, the good thing is it is nice to know the fact that you are communicating with others in in the hosiery world and especially like men um you know who can probably give you advice and give you you know and give you some confidence and help you feel sort of less insecure bit by bit because I can understand baby steps I always say baby steps is everything um but it's nice the fact that you are yeah I find it interesting how we've just gone down a rabbit hole of sad for this entire interview (laughs) Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just, yeah, it, do you know what it is? is? It's like, and it's so weird because I am comfortable, like more comfortable than I probably should be with thoughts like these. Mm. I don't let them splatter into toxic thinking, like yeah. self deprecating, insecure thinking. But yeah. I, this is just my element in how I think. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, no, and I get that. And the thing is, there's a lot of people out there that are very similar you know to you and and the way that you think as well because it's like just hearing this it's like oh, okay yeah I kind of heard a bit of this before and but it's like it, it it is I think I think one thing that I do like is one the fact that you stood up to your dad that was like amazing but two is the fact that actually do you know what you're out there communicating which a lot of people it's sad to say still can't do because they feel if they if they do reach out how they're going to be seen what's going on so I do applaud that as well, the fact that you actually are. And I'm hoping it will make a difference, you know, in terms of y- your actual hosiery journey. And I hope it, I hope it really does make a difference. I like to see you out there loud and proud. <laughs> oh, you won't see that happening. Oh, really? Um, I, even now, I like I said, if I wear them out, I'm just, I'm sometimes going to have days to where I don't care other days mm. to where I will yeah no I get insecurity, that insecurity wise um but something I want to make sure um has been said correctly when I said I st- I've been standing up to him I just mean like I've shown signs throughout the entire time I've been an adult um yeah that that I need to be loved at the moment with hands off from him completely unless it's something that's impacting everyone in the household okay okay get you get you i get that i get that so it's not like me just being like one day okay i'm tired of this old man um (laughs) no 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 yeah yeah it's more just like over time yeah no i get that i get that so oh my god so here's a question it's going to be totally just sort of on topic, but off topic. Um, so which are some of your favorite brands of hosiery? It's literally just coming to my head now. And I was like, oh my God, I need to ask him this. Um, well, I will say this. Um, I'm very limited on brands I've tried. Mm. But my favorite brand, not brands, um, is We Love Colors. Oh, I've never heard of the oh this is a band i've never heard of what basically um, seriously (laughs) oh good grief basically it's a brand um where it it's basically the hot spot for any for only getting any color of tights you could ever imagine they're very limited as far as patterns but yeah colors is their forte we love colors is that what they're called yeah and it's meant for any body shape any gender okay okay i'm gonna need to uh check them out actually i can't believe you've mentioned a brand i've never heard of and i've gone through a lot of brands oh my god okay 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 i'll be uh, i'll be hunting after after this don't worry about that Okay, cool. So you mentioned patterns. So do you tend to wear patterns or are you more sort of just solid kind of colors? Uh, right now, solid, but be- mm. not because I'm against patterns. I just don't have anything with patterns right now. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm like, just 
stingy with my <laughs> with my money right now. I Fair I make enough. a lot cons I make a lot considering I have a single job as a delivery driver. Mm. But I still have things I have to pay month by month because um my if there's one thing my parents haven't stopped doing, it's them trying to baby step by baby step incorporate uh the real world into my life while i'm still living here so rent okay. paying off my paying off the car that they um got for me <laughs> and then which i'm almost done paying off and then they're also trying to add certain bills um to that as well yeah but um outside of stuff like that um i shouldn't be worrying too much because um I know for a fact that the bills aren't going even to reach 10 in total, not even that high. Yeah, no, fair enough. Fair enough. So, okay, so literally, this literally just came into my head as well now. So, you know, in terms of, um, like, your parents and your family now, just if you, do you tend to, like, do you actually, what, okay, let me start again. Oh, right. So, right, so when you are at home and in regards to your family, do you tend to wear a hosiery around the house and and especially if they're around or is that just a, a no-go because you're just not comfortable doing so obviously on the days that you do wear hosiery it used to be a no-go like still thinking of the fact that if i do i might get kicked out um okay but now it's just like random very random mm. when i do or do not Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I just thought, I, I forgot to ask that question before when but you'd it, mentioned it. But I will say it's not the majority of the time. Okay, no, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, oh, I'm good to, good to learn so much about you. I, do you know what, I like this, I like this. I like making new friends like this. You just, it's so many exciting, interesting stories. Just, yeah, God, yeah, oh. Okay, so, oh god, I literally had another question. It's just gone. Oh my god, it was about it was about hosiery again, and it's just completely does it, gone. Does it have to do with experiences, brands? Like I'm just trying to give like this is something my, no, just, my mother used to do. Um, give ideas to see if they can remember. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, no, it's completely gone now. It's okay. It'll come back. It'll come back in one, one of those random moments. Where like, oh, I'm going to ask you this. <laughs> but was there anything else that you that you wanted to ask at all? Just because obviously I just keep blabbering on here. I know you've interviewed a lot of people. Mm. So you not only see constant themes, but you also see granular differences between them all. <laughs> this is just like a this is just like a small pride thing of mine because mm. I know that I'll never be the person um, anyone wants me to be, whether I like it or not. Um, am I the most unique um, story you've ever experienced? Yeah, you're one of three. Can I, can I say that? You're one of three in the sense of yes in terms of sharing your journeys yes definitely um but yeah but in terms of like if I'm thinking about my dms and emails that I've got in regards to other people's stories that they just don't want to come on and share which is fine um yeah you're definitely one of three definitely like probably probably you're my second maybe probably my second out of those three so yeah it's but you know what this is what I mean I think this is why I like doing the series it's just because yes even though a lot there's a lot of similarities it's nice to have people like yourself come on and share a whole different spin and that and that's the thing because it's there are some people that are going to be on a, on a very similar journey to you in the sense that I started off later on or a similar kind of um background in terms of well in terms of their religion to be like oh well you know like I can't because of that, that so it's it's nice to have a variety I always say because it's always going to hit someone different but yeah, but no, I'm I'm actually glad you very like you came on. I'm I'm really 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 happy that you did. It's been it's been very interesting, and I and I've loved it. I actually have loved it. 
but also I wanted to ask because obviously we're going to sort of come to near to the end of this um because I normally tend to I try and ask this in every episode but sometimes I, I do forget um if there was a message that you like to share to people out there especially people who are going to be watching um is there a message that you would like to like to leave or like a little sort of something that you'd like to leave um this goes for hosiery or tights whatever and anything else in your life um know yourself objectively um so that you know what to do next um with any scenario it's just the best thing i've ever done for myself stepping like trying to jump over any emotion i've ever felt and just look at things from an objective standpoint and this can be okay. about and as far as how it can help you out for your hosiery journey it can also help to make you more self-aware in mm. um why you're attracted to tights and whatever else it can help you to um see if there's a problem in as far as why because i know i've been struggling myself um for a while or i used to struggle for a while trying yeah. to see if it was something i should be getting into or not um but yeah just objectively analyzing yourself so that you know um so that you can understand the truth behind everything and then use that to carry how you move forward i like that okay yeah i like that that's pretty cool so thank you so much for sharing that i, re I really appreciate that yeah why do you think so because it's yeah it's very important to me i it's um it's important yes to be like don't care about what other people think only you will care the most like mm -hmm. yes i get that but it's a little overused at times and stuff like this needs to be incorporated into message into loud and proud messages as well because it helps you to not really not really um appreciate yourself less but just understand things by taking your own by but just understand yourself and things around you without emotions involved. <laughs> As mm. an emotional person, that's had to be something I've had, that's been something I've had to learn yeah. very hard. Yeah, I can, I can just imagine. Yeah. 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 I, I, always, I always think, yeah, anytime emotions are involved. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I get that. I get that. But no, but honestly, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate you sharing um to move your journey on here. It and it's yeah, it's it's definitely been an interesting one, but a really good one. So thank you. I really, I really appreciate it and your time. Did you remember that question you had? No, it's gone. I'm literally gonna have to probably DM you and be like, oh I've I remembered it now. This is what it is. <laughs> So honestly honestly but yeah but no we'll keep in touch anyway so that's cool that is cool but no but thank you so much for coming on um and basically until next time to be am fair I am i actually gonna come on next time well we can definitely arrange we can we can have talks and definitely arrange whether you want to or not so it's honestly the the choice is completely yours i always sort of leave it out in the open because some people prefer not to they're like look the one was enough and some people like make part two i'm there <laughs> so yeah so it's uh, open i also know i also ask because i know you say i am i am definitely having a part two with this person <laughs> yeah no obviously it's just because i always kind of judge it on how it kind of goes and whatnot but hey i'm down for a part two if you're down for a part two so yeah we'll talk we'll talk <laughs> no but thank you so much for coming on no problem. All right. And the next time, toodaloo.